Hi, I hope you're doing dandy. I'm gonna sing to you, as usual. And you can like or subscribe, as usual. Things are very predictable here at the moment, relatively. I love how your eyes close whenever you kiss me. And when I'm away from you, I love how you miss me. I love the way your kiss is always heavenly. But darling, So, that song is how I feel about my girlfriend. And I realized this week, after many things happened and lots of life had been lived, that really every relationship in my life was a reflection of how I felt about myself. I judged myself a lot for the things I had done wrong in my opinion. I judged myself a lot for feeling abandoned or feeling like I needed someone else. We're humans, we need people. That's just the way it is. The problem was the people in my life also did. The people in my life would judge me for what I judged myself about because those were the people I was attracted to because I didn't want to be with someone who just loved me unconditionally if I didn't love myself unconditionally because I'd be like, what's up with them? They're crazy about me. People should be crazy about you because you're awesome. And when people are crazy about you, not crazy about you, you know, loving you unconditionally helps you grow, helps you make mistakes and get back up after the mistakes, helps you love yourself through mistakes, helps you grow. And I didn't know that. I thought, you know, I idolized these people in my life. I would brag about them to people. And it was this very conditional love, very shallow love in a, in a way. Like, if I only could love them for these good things, and then I'd have issues with them because we both met each other in that same energy of not fully accepting ourselves and then there would be conflicts where we were hurt one of us felt hurt by the other and it would be a cycle 
And my whole life would be like that until I started loving myself really fully, deeply, unconditionally, letting myself make mistakes and validating whatever feelings we're going through. Because your feelings aren't wrong. They're telling you what you need to hear inside. And if you're going to avoid them, they're going to keep coming. That was just my experience. And I realized I was identifying with these people's opinions of me. And then I realized I had those feelings about myself. It wasn't me identifying with them. It was me abandoning myself and going into that relationship, being like, you're right, I'm wrong. It was bad. But, you know, it's good to learn and it hurts sometimes growing pains, but that was something I needed to learn myself. I don't know. I thought maybe talking about it, maybe someone would resonate and feel that way too, or like be like, oh, that's what I'm doing. I don't have to learn the lesson you learned for like years and years and years of your life. I can just learn it now, hearing it, resonating with it. So I'm kind of taking a break and honing in on loving this guy right now. But I feel like this is how love should be. This really true, comforting, nurturing, unconditional love. So yeah, hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you validate yourself and love yourself because you can't really accept love that you're not feeling within you about you already, unfortunately. What a bummer. Honestly, once I learned that, it's better than winning the lottery. <laughs> it's better than anything. And then when you do, you get to have a relationship with someone who does feel that way about you and you don't have to keep chasing people or wishing for people and you're just, you're the prize. All right, thank you, <laughs> have a good day.